the songs that him and Mozzie did together, and I took their flow, and I just got on the thizzle, and I freestyled it. And I think a day or two went by, and Mozzie commented on there. Okay. Like, you know, you go crazy, you know, whatever. Fire signs, you know, he acknowledged me. And so after that, it was just regular, and um, I ended up coming to L.A. to trap. Because I was trapping at the time. And so I was on the blade after he left the comments. Lil Blood put in a word for me like, you know, damn, y'all didn't know Barbie? Because I'm assuming that, because I wasn't there for that part, obviously. But yeah. I'm assuming that I was being spoke upon, that freestyle. And Lil Blood like, you don't know, like Barbie, woo, woo, that, she hard, woo, woo. And Lil Blood, my big brother, too, you know? So he yeah. basically was putting in the work for me. Shout out Lil Blood. That's my dog. Shout out to you. Shout out to and Play. so so um, he kind of really created the first piece to this puzzle of my whole. Through the alley-oop for you. Yeah, he did that. Through the alley-oop for you. And so when that took place, I came out to L.A. on some trapping shit, and Davo called my phone. And he was like, you know, hey, you hard. Hardest female rapper I ever heard. I ended up seeing him post me on his page, and I knew that it was legit. Like, they really was listening to me. They was fucking with me. Yeah. And he told me, like, when you come to L.A., come fuck with me, come fuck with me. And I was already out here, but I was trying to be super, super humble. And I I just was like, okay, it's good, it's good. The whole time I'm on the blade. And what is that though? I know we talked about it. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, the blade. What is it? Basically, I was outside trapping. I was hoeing. I was getting money that way. Yeah. And he called me. Basically, he don't even realize that he called me. He don't know. Showing that. me how to get money another way. Yeah, he don't even know where it, you at. The yeah, moment. exactly. He didn't even know where I was at. And I acted like I wasn't out there because you know I was a little humiliated, like. This is fucking like damn. Mozzie's manager calling my phone. I would never tell him I'm on the fucking blade. Yeah. <laughs> so I just played it off like, oh, I'll be out there tomorrow. I was coming out there to handle some business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you get the call from Davo. Mm -hmm. He's like, look, you hard. Come to LA. You're actually on the blade. Getting In money. LA. In LA. Getting money. How you getting money? Mm -hmm. You just said he showed you a, another, a whole nother way of how to get money. Basically. And so what happens after that conversation? Um, after I confirmed that I'm going to come to L.A., it's good. We locked in. He gave me the address to the studio, and I pulled up, and I recorded, like, a few songs with him personally there. Okay. He recorded them and stuff. But he's not really – he doesn't identify it as an engineer. Okay. So he just like knows what to do. Yeah, he just know how to do it. Yeah. So he did a few things and we did a few little things just so he could make I take it as he did it so he could make sure that was really me rapping and writing my raps and shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. After we did that, he started like just put putting me in sessions with photo. Okay. Manny. Okay. And we locked in and we knocked out like twelve songs in like one day. Manny is my witness. Dang. I rap to every beat that he turned on. Like, he, Oh, so that's how you were coming at first. I was ready. I was hungry. Yeah. Got to. Facts. I'm still hungry, but no I kind of got a little comfortable a little bit. 